what we're going to be doing today is replacing a solar fan on my 26 foot O'Day. I apologize for the traffic noise. This is where my boat is stored. I'll try to speak loud enough to make this video work. We'll be taking off this Necro, which has had a lifespan of about three years, and replacing it with a Marine Co over here. The tools you want to have are putty knife, hammer, edger is optional, not preferred, and a jigsaw, as well as 3M5200 and rubber gloves. A little sandpaper to rough up the surface. The non-functional solar fan currently installed has been bonded with 3M5200. We're going to use that again because even though it says it's permanent, you can remove 5200 with a putty knife and a hammer or an edger. I recommend with plexiglass removing it with a putty knife and a hammer. It does less damage to the plexiglass. You want to take the putty knife, put it under here where there's resistance, tap it in everywhere around where there is 5200 bonding and as you go around you will get to the point where it's all loose and this can be removed these come with collars that you can actually use to mount back up just a moment we won't be needing this Gaskets also come with it. Since this one is the size of the hole I need, I'm actually going to use this as a template. Once you've drawn your template hole, use a jigsaw with a metal blade and go slowly. You can damage the plexiglass, it can chip. But if you take your time, this really is a good device to do it. Now we can see our functional solar fan is fitting nicely into this hole and seating nicely using sandpaper, using 220 and that's good enough to just rough up lightly around where you're going to bond it to the plexiglass. This is not necessary because 5200 will bond pretty good to plexiglass without being roughed up but it's a sure way of getting a close watertight bond you'll want to wipe the area you've sanded with acetone uh, removing any possible oils that can impede uh, adherence of 5200 don't forget to rough up the area around where you're going to be applying 5200 to the solar fan as well. The directions for 5200 say that it should not be applied in temperatures below 40 degrees or above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Our temperatures today are about 52. It will set up and be tack free in about 48 hours, but it, total cure time takes about a week, plus or minus the humidity in the air and the temperature. Once you've placed a quarter inch bead or so of 5200, you'll want to place the solar panel down, of course, uh, evenly. There is some adjusting afterwards that, that can be done because it's not really going to set like epoxy will pretty quickly. So you just want to make sure you're not to put too much 5200 that it runs, but you want just enough to keep the moisture out and it really doesn't take a lot of 5200 to bond anything to an object. 